All right, this is going to be a quick demo of the new SAS Pegasus CLI. So the CLI is a project that you can install from pip using pip install Pegasus CLI. And once you install it, it will give you this Pegasus command in your project. Right now, Pegasus only has one command, which is start app. So we can do Pegasus start app. And this will tell us a little bit more about what you can do. You can see it takes in some different config options. And rather than explain that to you, I'm just gonna show a quick demo. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a new app in my project. So I'm in my Pegasus project here, wedding plan, and I'm just gonna do Pegasus start app to do's. And so what this has done is it's created a new app for me in apps to do's, and it's created some templates in templates to do's. So let's go ahead and look at those files. All right, so we can go in and see what that has done. You can see some changes in my project here. So in my apps folder, there's now a to-dos app with some files, uh, models, URLs, views. Um, and in my templates directory, there is also a new to-dos folder here with a to-dos home template. So rather than go through these files, I'm just gonna show you the functionality that it's built. And to do that, I first have to add the URLs to my urls.py. So I'm gonna create a new URL path for to-dos. I have fully switched to cursor, by the way. So uh, yeah, I'll be using cursor, cursor probably for most of my demos moving forwards. Um, so that sets up my URLs. And then in my settings, I also need to add, yeah, exactly that. So the uh, app config for the to-dos app. And so once I do that, I should now be able to go to my slash to do's URL and boom, we've got welcome to the do to do's app uh, seamlessly built into my Pegasus app. Um, so this in and of itself isn't all that impressive or all that different from what you can get from the built in Django startup command. So let's look at the more fun use case. So I'm going to go back to my CLI and now I'm going to do startup to do's, but I'm also going to pass the second optional argument, which is a data model. And so you'll see it provides the same output, uh, but if I now go ahead and refresh this page, I'll get this manage to do's button. This will currently crash because I don't have those database tables. So I just have to quickly do a make migrations to do's and a migrate. And now, if I click here, we can go to manage to do's. You'll see we get a little list. There's nothing here. We'll add it to do, to do number one. You'll see that'll pop us right back here. To do number two, to do three, and so forth. And I'll just add two more just to show you one other feature that comes out of the box with this, which is pagination. And so you can see if I add more than four items, which is just for the purposes of this demo, you wouldn't want to really paginate by four, um, then it will do built-in pagination. You can also see there's a detail view, there's an edit view. Uh, we can see to do three edited. Uh, there's breadcrumbs. And all of this is actually happening with HTMX. So if we look at the network tab, like none of these are doing full page reloads. These are all doing just a single request to just pull the section of the page that it needs, uh, including the breadcrumbs. And so this is gonna be blazing fast. Uh, it's not gonna reload your entire UI. It's gonna feel like a single page app. And yeah, so that is pretty cool. Um, but it doesn't just need a single data model. So now let's say, okay, I wanna organize my to-dos by project. So let's go ahead and add a project model. And I'm gonna keep the to-do in place also because it's just gonna kind of overwrite things. And now I can run uh, make migrations again. Hopefully that will build on top. It'll add the project model now. I can run migrate again. And now if I go back here, you'll see I get a separate CRUD area for my projects. I can add a new project. Um, obviously the CLI doesn't know anything about your data model. So if we go into the models.py file now, 
these are just stub models with a user, so they are will they will be pinned to your user by uh, default. So I can um, log in as a different user, and I won't see any to dos. Uh, but you know they won't relate to each other. So probably what we actually want to have is you know to dos will have a project which will be a foreign key. Um, so this will just generate the initial CRUD setup for you. Uh, but after that setup, you can go in, you can tweak whatever you want. You will get uh, separate templates for each of these as well, because um, obviously, you know, your UI is never going to be as simple as just a list view, a detail view, and so on. So for each of these, you can go in, you can change the table, you can totally configure how you want these things to show up. Same thing with the details view, and so on. Um, and yeah, so that is basically the demo. I'm hoping that this will make it a lot easier to spin up new apps inside your Pegasus and Django projects. Right now, this is quite tailored and coupled with Pegasus, although uh, I have the goal and plan to shortly release a vanilla Django version of this so that it can be used in any Django project. Um, the source is on GitHub at sass-pegasus slash Pegasus CLI if you want to peek at that. And yeah, this will be in the latest Pegasus release by the time this video drops. So looking forward to getting some feedback on this and improving it and hearing about what you build. Catch you next time.